Although all-round entertainer Senzo Mtetwa had a multicultural childhood, he grew up to have a strong sense of self, which has helped him to tell stories that cross the cultural divide while still being authentic. Karusha went to find out how Senzo does it. You'll often see Senzo's face in comedy show posters, and he's equally adept at working in a team or as a solo performer. So yes, I was raised by a Telugu family from Reservoir Hills. Do we have Telugus here? Wait a minute! Because I know there are some Tamil people that like to jump on the Telugu bandwagon just because you're a little bit thin. Entertaining can be exhausting, so Senzo enjoys his time away from the hustle and bustle. Senzo! So lovely to meet you. Thanks for having me. I can see you enjoying the beautiful view. Yes, I mean, take it all in. This is Durban Harbour for you. And of course, this is your city, your hometown. Yeah, you know, I, I love everything about this place. But yeah, this is home. I'd love to be shown around. Let's get started. Great. There's so much to see. Like, if you look to that side, there's the boats that bring out the imported vehicles. That's cool. It's so colourful walking down here. Well, that's the thing about Durban. It's colourful, it's cultural, traditional. A whole melting pot, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, Senzo, what are you up to these days? Still doing stage work, uh, stand-up comedy, theatre plays. I've recently started radio. Really enjoying it. It's a totally different playing field. The weather's turning. So, let's go and grab something. I want to show you this lovely restaurant that I love to frequent. Great, let's go. Dude, I went and found myself a nice fair girl. You know, my mother was so proud. She was like, oh, you must see Sinzo's girl. She's so fair. I wonder if the same is said at my girlfriend's house. Is her family saying, oh, you must see my daughter's boyfriend. What a dark, dark hell of she got. I can see why you like this spot. Really nice views. It's, it's a really nice place to come out and just unwind and chill. And how is enjoying the city now versus when you were a child? Well, as a boy growing up in Durban, getting around meant going wherever my parents were going. And most of the time it meant going to relatives' homes. But the difference now as an adult, I've got the uh, freedom to go where I choose because uh, I have my own transport now. I love that you call it transport. Because that's what people ask you, you know, like, do you have transport? So yeah, I've got my own wheels so I can move around, pick up my friends, come back whatever time I want. And what was it like growing up? As a black kid in an Indian home, you know, my parents never treated me any differently. It was a, a lovely environment to grow up in. Obviously, things changed once I went to school. I was one of the first black kids in an Indian school. But the beauty of that is when mixing with other children, children don't know race. They're just seeing another kid and they're quite happy to, you know, join them and play with them. And do you find that you perhaps used comedy because your situation was so unique? Yes, you've got to use comedy to, besides just making people laugh, but also educate them at the same time. So people can relate to what it is that you're saying, but also learn from the experience. Exactly. So then do you find that people come up to you saying, hey, I can relate to that, even though your situation was so unique? Yes, they do relate because I speak from a family perspective. Thank you so much. This looks great. Thank you. I can see why you like it here. <laughs> Food is always excellent. And I know, of course, apart from the many things you do, a comedian, a radio jockey, you have other passions. I do. But before we get into that, my mother would always scold and said, your food is getting cold, eat quickly. <laughs> so please, let's dig in. Let's eat. <laughs> bon appetit. Bon app. Mm. This is what I was waiting for. When I got older, I played tabla for our service group's allocated hour. It was amazing to see how many groups would show up without their own tabla player, thus making me a super tabla playing sub. And the excuses they gave. Uh, Senzo, hey, one thing, you play very well, my boy. You know, our tabla play is running a little bit late. If you don't mind, why you don't start? When he comes, he'll take over. To the... Ooh, but one thing, Senzo, hey, you too sharp, eh? Hey, but one thing, this nation got rhythm, eh? Well, Karusha, I play tabla. It's one of the passions that I have. How did you start playing? I started playing when I was around about 11 years old. Was there someone that encouraged you? My dad was a very cultural person. He had purchased a set of tablas as well as harmonium when he had traveled to India. And nobody really was passionate about it at the time. So when I saw it, I was like, this is great. And I started going for classes. 
and next thing I know, when service groups are looking for a tabla player, they're phoning my house. So it must be really cool to be able to play an instrument and have your job as a radio host. It's great to have both the musical knowledge as well as some singing knowledge to go with it. Well, I'm one of your listeners and I want to hear. Sure. Awesome, you're really good. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, well, you know what, look at the time. It is crazy. I'm going to be late for my radio show, but I'm having so much of fun. I don't want this to end. Why don't you join me in studio? Oh, I'd love to. So, I'll see you there? Great, let's do it. Excellent. This is Local Vocal. I'm Senzam Teto with you till 9 p.m. Senzo, very, very cool. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you very much. I just wanted to show you what it is that I do here at Lotus FM. So the show, it's called Local Vocal. Is that because you're bilingual? <laughs> no, but good question. No, it's just, uh, that's the name of the show um, that's been running for years. So I've recently uh, now have taken the helm. So does that mean that you can't share some of your Tamil fluency with me? Yen per Senzo, nan Reservoir Hills ul irikiren, which means my name is Senzo and I live in Reservoir Hills. Senzo, where do you see yourself in the next couple of years? Well, I'd like to get onto TV, do some TV work, as well as something in cinema, but definitely I will be in entertainment. What is your advice to anybody that's wanting to see themselves where you are today? I'm going to say keep persevering. I want you to be in radio for a long time and I just got my big break in my 30s. It's a tough journey, but if you keep on the path, you set your goals, eventually you'll get to where you need to be. Senzo, it has been such a pleasure for me to spend time with you today. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me and hope to see you guys again soon. 87.7 to 106.8 nationwide, baby. This is Local Vocal here on Lotus FM, where we play you the best of South African original music. Cross-cultural humour can be tricky territory for a comedian to traverse, especially in a South African context. But Senzo succeeds because he's simply being himself. There's an ad break on its way. See you again in a moment or two. From Hawaii to Singapore, Kim and Pashi take us on a whirlwind culinary tour.